The heating and cooling system installed with your home, often referred to as your HVAC system, has several important functions. It heats and cools the air inside your home while also circulating and conditioning the air and cleaning it with a filter. It's very important to keep your system in good operating condition. Read both your homeowner's manual and the thermostat manual for important information about maintaining your systems. This will help keep your home comfortable while also helping to save energy costs. Here are some things to be aware of when first turning on your heating and cooling system. There might be a slight burning smell when the heat is initially turned on. This is normal and is simply the system burning away a light film on the unit. This will go away after a day or two. If the smell hasn't gone away after two full days, contact the manufacturer of your HVAC system for assistance. If you need assistance contacting the manufacturer, contact the retail home center where you purchased your home and they can help you get in touch with the manufacturer. Along with the supply vents in each room, you will have vents in your home called return air grills. These vents allow air to be cycled back into the heating and cooling system for reconditioning and are typically located at the furnace. Make sure to vacuum the return air grill regularly and replace the filter as recommended by the manufacturer of the furnace. As you decorate your home, make sure not to cover any air supply or return vents with furniture or wall pictures, since your system needs the air from these vents to keep your ventilation system working properly. We recommend checking with the manufacturer of your air filter to find out how often you should change your air filter. The time to replace your air filter could vary by every 30 to 90 days, depending on the kind of air filter. Having a clean air filter will help keep the air in your home cleaner, help your home smell better, and help your system operate more efficiently. Remember to install them with the arrows pointing in the direction of the opening. Your heating and cooling system is generally located in an interior compartment, and you may have one or two small drain pipes located on an outside wall or on the floor of your home. The air conditioning system in your home is designed to keep your home cool during hot summer days, but it does need time to work. During the summer, we recommend turning your system on and leaving it on, because this will allow your air conditioner to keep your home cool without having to turn it on and off throughout the day. To help keep your home cool, consider keeping exterior doors and windows shut, turning off unused lights, and drawing your curtains during the day to keep out sunlight. In addition, you may need to adjust your vents around the home to evenly distribute the cool air. Your air conditioning system is designed to accommodate a difference in temperature of 20 degrees between the inside and outside air. Your air conditioning system should also be able to maintain a comfortable humidity level, which is typically around 55%. For example, if it is 80 degrees outside, your AC should easily be able to reach 70 degrees or even lower. However, you should keep the interior temperature no lower than the recommended temperature to set your thermostat to for whatever the exterior temperature is. During hotter temperatures, like if it is 100 degrees outside, you should set your AC temperature to be somewhere between 75 and 80 degrees. Do not set your interior temperature to be more than a 20 degree difference from the temperature outside. This will run your system all day long and could result in higher energy bills because you will be overworking your system. If your air conditioning system fails to operate, contact a heating and cooling specialist for suggestions and repair.